Hi YouTube, my name is Eve the Weave. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm sitting up here right now. I'm waiting for another press conference to come about Michael Avenatti. They had one early this morning. They held they having two press conferences, two different cases, one on the East Coast, one on the West Coast, one in California, one in New York. He is still being held in New York City right now. He's under arrest. And let's just see what TMZ got to say about it. What? It's like a mixed bag is reaching all the things he's now facing. This is mag charges, y'all. Uh, you were about R. Kelly? Extortion <laughs> in one case, uh, bank and wire fraud in another case. But the extortion one, it's which is against <laughs> Nike, allegedly, is crazy. He, the things that the prosecutors are saying he said in meetings with Nike's attorneys. Now, this just went down, and the short story is that he is being charged with extorting Nike for as much as $25 million, or else he would do something to really damage the company. Yeah, yeah, Harvey, this all stems from a, a series of meetings that he had with Nike over the past few weeks. No, uh, no, they're not even a few weeks, they're last, in a week. The last most week. recent ones were last, last week. Last week. Yes. Yeah, so he had a meeting with, with Nike last week. He has a client who is a coach of an AAU basketball team. These are hotshot youth basketball leagues, uh, and they have a lot of top recruits. And he said that he had information that Nike was funneling money to the families and the mem and, and, and top basketball Not players good, guys. recruits. And he said, look, I can either go public with this or offer Nike to hire him as an internal investigator of the company uh, for up to $25 million. How do you try to, to store Nike for $25, for $25 million? million? That seems above the pay grade of that. Right. <laughs> it's a, it's right. a bit above the pay grade, but he gave them another option. According to the feds, he says, if you don't want to pay me then uh, $25 million for the internal investigation, just give me $22.5 million and we'll make it... Now, this is the same guy that's trying to... Which this is the same lawyer that, that Stormy Daniels hired to be her lawyer against Donald Trump. Now, Stormy Daniels has fired Avenatti. Nobody knew about that. So therefore, they're gonna talk about that in a minute too. Stormy Daniels has commented and said she's not gonna let out why she fired him just yet. But once her thing is all said and done, she's gonna let everybody know what happened and what transpired between her and Michael Avenatti. Now, we all know Trump was just found not guilty with the whole Russia scandal thing, but yet they don't want to let out the report. That's a whole nother story. Remember, he's going up against Trump. So now you going, you going up against Trump, but yet you got all these tapings. Yes, they have taped him. They have a recording of him and they have videotape of him saying certain things. My thing is, you don't want to give up the tapes on R. Kelly, but they got tapes of you. Let's listen in. And, be, and, and keep it confidential. So there were recordings wow. that they made. Apparently, Nike contacted uh, the feds, and they actually recorded, or at least the feds say, they recorded Avenatti making these demands, both on the phone and then in the subsequent in-person meeting where he's apparently on video as well, right? Yeah, he's on he's on video for one of the meetings. They have audio recordings of others, and he's using some pretty colorful language. He said, I I'm not <clears throat> yes. screwing around with you guys. Well, I'm not continuing to play games. Right. He's a yes. bully. I'm not, I'm Very not, serious. I'm not blanking around with this. I'm not continuing to play games. Uh, you guys know enough to know you've got a serious problem. Um, and then he goes on to talk about the threat of the press conference. Um, I'll proceed with my press conference tomorrow. I'm not blanking around with this thing anymore. So you guys think we're going to negotiate a million five and you're going to hire us to do an internal investigation. But I don't get this, but it's going to be capped at three. Oh, that's what it, right. most of it. So he's and, basically I mean, he saying, sounds. pay me or else. And so he's been charged with that. Then that was in New York. Separately, he has been ar charged and arrested in the federal U.S. Attorney's Office in the Los Angeles area for bank and wire fraud for um, uh, all sorts of things. Yeah, so this is crazy, guys. Based on phony documents, saying that he paid his taxes when he didn't. At the start of the, 
a news conference they said that he's actually been arrested in new york but for both cases they just took him into custody in new york and the case the bank fraud thing they were saying that he lied to get a four to get four million dollars in loans from a bank in mississippi so we're going to show you something so this is right now we're we're juggling two news conferences on both coasts right now you can see the la news conference where they are talking about the tax fraud case and uh in a few minutes we're going to switch over i'm going to try to go live for the other press conference which is going to be in new york i want to see what that's about because that's the one for the night yesterday donald trump is exonerated and today michael avenatti is charged it's harvey have you studied have you ever seen dueling federal indictments about completely different subject matters this seems unprecedented against one person yeah against one defendant i i well they're set so guys this man has tried to use his old tax records to get money and get loans. That's one. Two, you tried to extort Nike for $25 million and you caught. Three, I'm starting to think that he figured if he get on this R. Kelly thing, they would have leniency if he, if he trapped R. Kelly and get r kelly and throw r kelly in jail maybe fbi will have leniency being an fbi yeah it's separate cases but you know fbi is fbi fbi is supposed to be a part of the r kelly case too so you fit i'm starting to believe he figured if he would have took down trump and r kelly he would have some type of leniency because you had to know that you was already caught because this been the word around town for a minute since he jumped on the R. Kelly case. I told y'all about that months ago. I didn't understand why he jumped on it. But now that we hear all the charges, now I'm starting to think you jumped on it because you want to make yourself look like the good guy. When you are a bad guy too. Come on, extortion, tax fraud, and, uh, uh, and the list goes on. The list goes on. So, y'all heard it here. <laughs> I just want to see, hopefully I can go live and catch the other press conference because I've seen one already, but I know CNN is going to have it all over again because they're going to do the other one, which I think is over here in New York City. So like I said, my name is Eve DeWeave. Like, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all later. Bye, YouTube.